there he is, Nico Belek. Nico, these are my two brothers. Well, two of my brothers, the two that count, Derek and Gerald. Hi. Derek has just returned to the family fold after a good few years in the old country, involved in the struggle. Sort of like you, I'd imagine. And Jerry, Jerry's the man. And you remember Michael, Saint Michael? <laughs> yes, yes, it's uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> Nico's a trip, man. I met him through that Puerto Rican coke dealer. So you want to involve him in family business? What do you know about him? What I know is he likes a fight and he ain't the fucking law. Oh, no offense, mister. That ain't good enough. Well, it's good enough for me. He's a good lad, Jerry. Uh, was I talking to you in bread halfwit? <coughs> I make a point of not talking to the unfortunate victims of brother sister marriage. Don't you speak about my parents like that. Oh, you're like fucking Cleopatra. Fifteen generations of brother sisters fucking, and you're so thick you take orders off my idiot brother Packy. Who's so stupid, he had to tattoo his name on his arm. If there is a problem, I'll go. No trouble. I have other ways of making money. There's no problem. Jerry just likes to think he knows best about everything, which is why he's been married three times already and still won't admit he likes men. <laughs> nah, no problem. I'll leave you boys to it. Don't screw up. Packy, take care of Derek. He's been away. And you? Nothing personal, but don't fuck with my family. Or I will fuck with yours. All right. We're heading to the southern Algonquin branch of the Bank of Liberty. Nico, you're the designated driver. And the money you're gonna fit in that thing? Get something bigger! Shit, Nico! You wanna leave one of us behind? Get something we're all gonna fit in! Let's do this. All right, here's how the shit is going down. We're gonna go inside and each take down a security guard. Me and St. Michael here are gonna handle the civilians. Well, Nico and Derek manage the employees. Anyone tries anything, you put them down hard. Once the situation has been controlled, Derek's going to rig the vault door with explosives. I got enough PE4 here to get through anything they throw at us. PE4? I ain't never heard of that. It's some limey name for C4 that Derek here picked up over there. I ain't having this argument with you, Patrick. It's safe to say, what we're using is controllable enough to go through any vault door without incinerating whatever's inside. Not gonna leave much residue on the notes either, so they should be washable. Oh, they're going to be washable, all right. Can't wait to see what sort of kick C4 residue is gonna give me when I snort up a line and chop through one of them notes. First. You're a fucking charlotte, Patrick. Second, it's P.E. 4, not C4. Whatever, at least I'm honest about my habits, Derek. You know nothing about nothing, Patrick. I'm honest about me demons. Hit the needle on the old head there, did I, Derek? The expression is, hit the nail on the head, Packy. Really, Michael? You don't think I know that? And Jerry was right about you, Mikey. Your parents must have been twins to produce a kid as dumb as you. I'm surprised you ain't got three eyes, no balls, and a club foot. Don't bring my parents into this, Packy. All right, all right. Do we all know what we're doing? Once the vault door blows, I want Nico and Michael to go down into the vault to get the money while me and my brother handle the crowd control. All makes sense to me. If you guys can stop arguing for a few minutes, then I think we might be okay. Gerald was very clear about the way things is going down, boys. Me and Michael are on the civilians. Derek and Nico are on employees. Derek, did you sort out the charge for the vault door? What's that mean? Of course I sorted out the charge. What do you think I've been doing all day? I don't know. Nodding off with a needle sticking out of your arm? Patrick, you were such a sweet little boy when I left this city. You was gone a long time, Derek. From what I remember, you've changed too. This is an emotional moment. I can feel the brotherly love in the air. Maybe we should just talk about the job, though? Sure. So, Derek, you got the charge rigged up to your phone. Had a bit of trouble with that. Couldn't find a pager to rig the blasting cap to it. Had to put the thing on a timer. All right, all right, we can roll with the timer. That's cool. Nico, when the door blows, I want you and Michael to go down into the vault to get the cash. Grab as much as you can carry. Okay. Don't need to tell me twice, Packy. I'm ready to go. 
pumped is what I am. Thanks, Michael. Knew I could count on the dumbest member of the group to throw himself into proceedings the most willingly. I was just saying how I do what you said, Packy. No need to get abusive. There was no need for a brother and sister to get married, but your parents did that, and now you're here. I can think of one reason they needed to get married. They were so ugly that no one else would have them. <laughs> nothing like a sibling's love, eh, Derek? Nothing like it. Nothing could make me love Francis, though. Fucking Frankie. He'd be pissed if he could see us now. This is it, boys. Moment of truth. Let's make this clean, boys. No civilian casualties. Oh, Here we are. I'd like to listen to the Wait radio. Wait until you're inside trip. to get ballied up. None of you fucking fucks move! Get on the floor! None of you is gonna get a medal for playing hero. All you're gonna get is a bullet to the heart. Don't none of you worry about nothing. We're here for the bank's money. It's going to a greater cause. Shut up and handle the safe. Open the door. Open the door. Open the door! Open the fucking door. Okay, okay, wait a minute. I got it. Get on the floor, now! But sir, you too. Okay, okay. Hey, yo, I'm a gun club member. I'm gonna take these rookies downtown. Are you with me? What's your name, son? Luis. But this ain't such a good idea, bro. Yeah? They said catching that pass in my high school championship football game was a bad idea, because I broke my leg in 13 places, but I scored a touchdown and won the game. The world was built out of bad ideas, my friend. Come on. The PE-4 has been molded and is set to explode in 60 seconds. Now listen, people, we're your friends. Me and me brother here. Why are you telling them we're brothers, you idiot? That's gonna make it hard for them to find us, isn't it? I'm trying to be honest with these people. We put them through a lot today. Fuck these people, fuck your cause. That shit's over. Ireland's not the only thing that's green. Dollars are too. Now you've said bloody Ireland. That's gonna narrow the search, ain't it? Fuck you! Take the needle out your arm, then tell me what to do! I'll let you tell me what to do when you stop shoving half a Bolivia up your nose every Saturday night! Motherfucker! <laughs> fuck! Oh. We told you not to fuck with us! Oh. Shit! Michael! Saint fucking Michael! <laughs> fucking shit! Get the money! Me and my brother will watch the kids! We're nearly done here. Keep calm, people. We just want to take the bank's money and get out of here. I got all the money I could. There's still some in there, though. We ain't got time to go back in. Let's move out, boys.
company, people!
Could have been nice to him for once in my fucking life. Kid only wanted to help. He loved you, Packy. He was happy you spoke to him. Didn't matter what you were saying. Yeah, well, now I gotta explain to his folks that their son is lying dead on the floor of a bank in Algonquin. Well, give them this cut. When your kid is living the life, you gotta expect someone to come through the door and break this sort of news. That does not make it any easier to hear. And we aren't safe yet. Eye on the road, Nico. We don't want you to have to break no bad news to our mom. Neither do I. That didn't go to fucking plan. Never does, Patrick. The best laid plans of mice and men often go awry. You just gotta hope no one gets killed when they do. Michael didn't get lucky, did he? Fucking have a go, hero. What was he thinking? He should have sat tight. He's sitting tight now. Paid for his stupidity. Madam Jumpy! You can get dosed all you like when Nico gets us back. You're a good man to have around, Nico. A damn good man. Tell me that when I've got you home. Thanks, Nico. You're a damn good man. I wasn't just driving you two. The money was in the car as well. Remember that. We won't forget it, Nico. Here's your cut. I tell Jerry you did good. He might give you a call or something. Taking that fucking blood money. Them people didn't need to die. No one needs to die. It's just bad luck when you do. Wrong time, wrong place. I'll see you around. It was meant to be easy, Nico. It was meant to be fun. Shit. See you around. Lost Michael and Derek, it ain't worth it. We got company, people! I'm gonna go drown my sorrows. I'll speak to you soon. There's only one thing that's gonna make me forget about this fuck up. See ya. Roman, how's it going? Have you seen this bank heist on the news, NB? That's some crazy shit. I bet you wish you pulled off a job like that. Who says I didn't? You're shitting me, NB. No fucking way! Who'd you do it with? This fucked up Irish family. Well, some of them. There are four brothers. Two are gangsters, one's a cop. And the other is a heroin addict, ex-freedom fighter. And then there's a sister. A sister? That sounds more my speed than these crazy brothers. I can tell from your voice that you like her cousin. Are you two doing it? I've got to go, Roman. I'll talk to you soon. <laughs> 